welcome to Enamor Movie Reviews. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It will be a great help to the channel. All right, man, ISS, the International Space Station. This is a story about a something in theory that could technically happen. We have an International Space Station uh, orbiting the Earth, and it's kind of a joint effort between different nations, but mostly being Russia and America. It's about what would happen on the space station if Russia and America went to war during that time period. That kind of sounds interesting in and of itself, doesn't it? However, man, this movie this movie is kind of dull at times. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely a thriller. And I just don't know where to place it. Is it good? Is it not good? Is it, you know, somewhere in the middle? And I think that's where I want to be, somewhere in the middle to being good. The direction of this film was kind of kind of dark. It was suspenseful with the with the with the orchestra playing and everything. Um, it it, it kind of made you. It gave you those moments that kind of uh made you like, oh shoot, what's gonna happen? But nothing ever happened until the end. <laughs> Towards the end, it does start picking up as far as his pacing is concerned and what what really goes on. Ariana DeBose. I knew I knew that name. I didn't know the face, but I knew that name because she voiced Asha in Wish. And now I finally get a, a face to it. But I'm going to tell you, maybe what's happening here with all of these facial expressions that these young women are, are giving me in these movies lately, it must be because they, they hail from theater, from like live actual uh, theatrical plays. And I think sometimes in theater, they're, they kind of, you ha have to kind of overact in, in a sense, right? Because I, I can't explain why, but it works in theater. It kind of, it's just like, did, did you really need, did you really need all that right then? You know, so I, I don't know, you know what I mean? But I enjoyed her performance overall. I will say that. And as I was studying to find out that she's a North Carolina native as well, that really kind of like, hey, I'm here for it, right? Anyway, back to the story. Overall, I have to say, man, I do I do recommend this film. I just can't say that I recommend that you go to the theater to see it. I don't think that is quite that good, especially seeing that theater tickets have increased to, in my, my market, what, approximately $14 for a matinee. I can't imagine what it is, uh, <laughs> you know, regular price. That's just absolutely insane, to, to me at least. I can't necessarily recommend that. That's the price of Netflix or Hulu, what you should be watching it on. Go to um, Apple TV. That's what this movie actually feels like. It really feels like an Apple TV epic. This is one of those films that was set in one singular kind of scene. You know, I, I kind of, I told you guys before, I actually love those type of movies where it's just like one scene movies. I, I love those movies. Not necessarily one scene, but one setting, you know. Anyway, let me know what you think. Throw your thoughts in the comment section and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to follow us because we, we do entertainment news. We do trailer reactions. We talk about upcoming movies. We kind of get it in. Just come see what we're talking about next. Somebody was a hero. Peace. Love. Hair grease. And so. <laughs>